true story is this. Four years ago, I was driving to work and I heard Tim on the radio telling his story, explaining how he overcame a huge struggle and he was using that experience to help other people. And I thought, why can't there be a TV show like that? Yeah, and why can't there be a TV show that combines fun and inspiration while we celebrate all the wonderful people in our city that are threading up? What's threading up mean? Come on, we're gonna show you someone in Ferguson who's threading up. Let's go. We can't wait for you to meet Natalie. Natalie's lifelong dream was to open this shop and she used bake sales to raise the money to do it. And after all that hard work, her dream finally came true. And then two months later, Ferguson happened and her shop was badly damaged. And then out of nowhere, a complete stranger from New Orleans contacted Natalie and suggested she start a GoFundMe account. Yeah, and Natalie had no idea what a GoFundMe account was. In fact, she thought it was all Monopoly money until she realized she had raised more than $120,000. So she repairs her shop and then takes the rest of the money and gives it to local businesses in Ferguson. But Natalie's not done threading up, not by a long shot. Oh no, but we're gonna let her tell you the rest of the story. Mmm, uh-huh, yeah. We're in the bakery here at Natalie's Cakes and More, and this is where it all started. Natalie, the yes. caramel cake. Tell me about this cake and how it all started. That is so good. It kind of came from my dad. He wouldn't give me his recipe because he's a dumper. Like, he never measured his ingredients. Like, Dad, show me your, you know, tell me your recipe. He said, no, nah, I can't. And so I would just watch him time after time after time. And um, I would just guesstimate what he's putting into it. And um, finally, I came up with a recipe of my own. And um, he said it was pretty good. It's not his, but it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> good, it's real good. So it's it's kind of surreal to have him actually in my kitchen now, and he's baking my caramel cake. Now tell us how this cake has really helped you. Um, this cake was the cake that Starbucks um, picked up, as well as Schnucks, and as well as Washington University, and as well as seven other local restaurants. This caramel cake has been shipped across the country, so we're we're really excited. <laughs> It's great to see your business taking off, but you mm -hmm. haven't stopped there. When your business took off, you started investing in others. Absolutely. And now you're in the cookie business. Tell Absolutely. me about that. Absolutely. So now I have a social enterprise, and it's called Natalie Sweet Success. And what we do is we offer on-the-job training for at-risk youth, and we give them an opportunity to have an experience to work at a job in the culinary field. But if they choose not to go in the culinary field, they're partnered with a life coach that helps them with the direction where they want to go. So it's so much more than job. Yeah, yeah. If we want our future to be different, we have to start with the youth. Um, when I started Baking Cakes, I really wanted it to, to make sure that my kids would have a future. Now my goals have changed. Now I want to make sure that other kids have a future. So to be able to employ their parents and to be able to employ them here at this facility, I mean, I'm just overwhelmingly grateful. What a journey you have yes. been on. It was all for a purpose. This week's Thread Up story is brought to you by Securus Circle of Advisors.